Hi all. So yesterday video we saw about uh, the AnyPoint Studio features. So welcome today. Let's see about the POM file. So you may be wondering what is the POM uh, POM file that we discussed on yesterday's uh, session. So uh, to all the new beginners, uh, this POM has is an abbreviation. It has the extension. It is a project object model. So uh, we call it as a uh, short as POM. This is a unit of Maven. It is a unit work of Maven, uh, which instructs the uh, how to build the application or how to execute a task or a goal of the uh, of the of the project. So if we want to build a jar out of this project or deployable package, then we need to uh, instruct the Maven uh, on how to build the build the package or how to build the jar with the all the dependencies uh, put together. So basically uh, providing the information of how to execute the build. So this uh, POM has details of all the dependencies that it may require to build a project. So as I said, this uh, AnyPoint has the Mavenized projects and it is uh, it automatically loads the dependencies. We have the simple form of POM here. So let's go through this uh, in one by one. So first is of this project, okay, and it has a model version, group ID, artifact ID, version, and packaging. This is by default, it will have, and it is uh, in every POM XML. It is uh, the name of the artifact ID here, and the version that we are going, the jar version, the deployable version it is named as a snapshot or if we want to just give the version like this that is also fine and uh, this is the packaging what kind of packaging we need whether a java package or a mule application package so here we are working on the mule application so we are providing the mule application packaging and name of the project is test and here this properties are something to watch out so what what's given here is like we are running the app runtime app runtime is nothing but the mule server runtime is 4.3 and mule maven plugin version the version that we are using is 3.4.2 plugin version so these are configured in the properties and we have some plugins and dependencies within the build instructing how to build the project so it it has a maven plugin for the executing the goal and the version of the maven clean plugin then mule tools maven and the version of the mule so if you can see here the version is not the like a number as it is here right so it is giving it in the prop like an kind of extended values so this is uh, nothing but we are uh, instead of giving in each places uh, mentioning the version they are commonly described the mule maven plugin version in the properties so it can be reused so the same is used here in the properties they have configured it under the properties and it is kind of extend extended to the property name and so it will automatically read the version as 3.4.2 so when we have a large POM file there are chances that when you manually specify suppose if we are removing this and specifying the manual version name like this there are chances like it may uh, be uh, more changed in some places and the version is not 
uh, the same everywhere in the POM file. So that's why it's uh, if the file goes a bit larger or it is always a best practice to extend the values in uh, properties. So we can give the common versioning and if there is a change later on you can just change in one place rather than going and changing it in every plugin or every other dependencies you can commonly provide it in the properties place so it is extended that way now let me let us replace it back so it's dollar open color braxis and the properties so this is the plugin configuration that we are referring here is mule maven plugin so next is the dependencies this dependency helps us to uh, get the jar file and while building the project so what what kind of dependency that we are looking here this is a mule http connector its group id is uh, under the connectors the artifact id we have a lot of connectors right so we are specifying it as mule http connector and version in this classifier mule plugin so this is a dependency similarly socket connector and this is an another dependency so here likewise we can have many dependencies added to this pom file so that it gets uh, built and packaged these are the repositories that we want to point if we have a specific repository if our project is using we can also configure here the repository to point to our own project specific uh, jars or project specific builds uh, we can fetch it from them and this is a pub uh, plugin repository so this is about the pom basic details of the pom and how the application is building and packaging a mule mule package so for example let me show you if you have take a simple application I am trying to add some other uh, dependency. You can see it here. As of now, we have only two dependencies in this basic POM XML. We are not having many, right? We can see two dependencies as of now. I am going to add one more uh, component. Uh, suppose let us take VM. Okay, and I'm just adding some. Transform message. After some transform, I'm just trying to add, send it to the VM. So if once I add this VM publish consume, it would have automatically loaded the dependency for this VM on my POM file. Once I drag and drop it here, the uh, mule uh, uh, application or the uh, built-in functions are taking care that it gets added to the dependencies as well. So like uh, we saw earlier, we had only two. Now we have three dependencies and it has added the VM connector. So this can alternatively be seen in the project folder itself. So we had the HTTP, if you can see the package explorer, there is a HTTP jar and um, the sockets. Now the VM one is also added here. Once we added the dependency, it gets loaded under the project folder. So this is about the dependencies and how you can add. Earlier we need to add it in the add it manually in the POM file by specifying the dependencies and some details. Now with this version it is we can uh, once you drag and drop the component it automatically gets added here. So that is the uh, useful in the building the application. So this is about the project object model the POM XML.
and there are also versions where you, if you need to uh, refer it to a parent POM, then you can specify it as a parent POM and the parent POM version. So there is a, a parent uh, tag. You need to give the parent tag and within the parent tag, you have to provide the uh, pro project uh, or group ID or artifact ID of the parent POM. So it will inherit it from the few packages from the parent POM. Yeah, so that's how this uh, POM file works. So I hope it would be informative to you. Uh, please let me know if you have any qu queries on the same. Thank you. Let's see you in the next video with uh, some other informational topic and uh, new projects on the mule. Thank you.